In this section of our tutorial, we're actually going to pull in a movie, work with the audio, and then export it out as a complete project with the movie and the audio merged together. To start with, we're going to open up this project, Movie Score Me. And if the lower section down here is open, we're going to want to close that so we have screen to work with the movie. I'm going to type Command Option L or again Control and Alt L and hide the lower section. Now to pull in a movie file, we can do that like we do with regular audio. We can just drag it in. Now the quick point is that we could drag this movie into the session view, but you're only going to be able to see the movie file from here over in the arrangement view. I'm going to toggle over into my finder. Here inside the project folder, I'm going inside the resource folder and clicking and holding on movie for seven and dragging that over. Now if it comes in at a different color, you can change that later, don't worry about it, that would be okay. And again, we can move this around just like we can any other clip, but we want this at the very beginning to coordinate with the project that we're starting with. Notice now that this movie file has opened up, we can actually see the movie. If I begin playback, we'll see the movie come into play. Now, sometimes you might need to move this around or resize it to get it to work well. Feel free to do that. Spacebar again begins playback. Now you can close it by clicking on this little button here. And if you have, then you've lost your movie file. Come back up to view, pull down the video window, and start it. And that pulls it back open. Also, if we're playing along and you want to see how the movie feels, double click here on the movie and it takes up the whole screen. Now you can ask yourself, does the movie really work? Now, I'm going to bring back my master volume a little bit here so I can talk over it better. And now we'll start some scoring editing. Now I'm going to do some automation. When we start out with the movie, I'm going to start out pretty strong with the drums. Listen. Rewind and play. So I'm going to choose an automation pattern here. Mixer and volume. Track volume. So again, click and hold on the upper box, choose Mixer, and then in the lower selection, choose the track volume. This red line again represents our volume. I'm going to pull it down so it's not so loud. I'm going to anchor it in right here. Let's find where the movie starts. I can simply click and hold and drag here on my counter until the movie actually moves. And that's my beginning point. So I'm going to start my automation, anchor here, double click, make a point at the beginning also, and pull it down. Let's listen to the beginning now. The drums are starting out nice, but let's do something with the strings also. Again, I'm going to double click to make a point right here. Pull the overall volume down. And now make a point at the beginning by double clicking and lowering the volume there. And play. Now, while the movie starts in black, we've got a more subtle beginning. Pulling the movie up. Okay, so it all works nicely. Now I've got track four ready to record. I'm gonna play my keyboard now. Well, we've got something we can work with there. Let's go back to the beginning, enter record mode here, and start. And I'm playing live as I watch the movie. stopping. So you get the idea now. I'm playing along, watching the movie, getting a feel for what's going on, and adding in this new melody. We continue this through the whole project. Another tip you can do is add location markers up here so you can know when different parts of the movie are going to change and you can be ready musically for that and watch those and track along. So now let's say we've completed this. We've got our movie and we also have our audio ready. We want to export this into one complete project. 
So I'm going to go File, Export Audio Slash Video. Now I can choose to export the audio and the video. We're going to render all the tracks through the master output. You could have just a single track, but for this project we're going to get everything. We are going to let it normalize or bring the volume up. We're going to choose audio file type, etc., etc. But we really want to come down here to video and create a new video file so our original without sound stays intact. We leave this on. We choose the video encoder and I'm going to leave it in QuickTime. You can actually edit these settings if you want to to get different things. But I'm going to leave it in place and then simply choose OK. It's going to ask me now where to store this movie. I'll call this uh, version 2 and save it on my desktop. Once we do that it simply starts exporting everything searching for the maximum volume point to bring up the audio up to maximum. Rendering the audio then it's going to go to the video task and sometimes as you see here it will take a multiple pass. This one currently is on pass 1. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, but it's just letting you know if it is. So once this completes, again we have the file stored to disk and then you can open up that movie as a separate entity and launch it with a new audio file in place. Okay, so while that's doing that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up but again this is a simple process of pulling in a movie. I pulled in these some tracks ahead of time but you can start from scratch and then you can create a complete project and export it out to video and save it as a new file. That's new in Ableton Live version 7.